Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to a brief little channel update. Hopefully this doesn't run super, super long, but normally I do waffle on in these, so I apologise if that is the case today. First things first, thank you very, very much for the recent support. We've been aiming for 125 likes on every stream for like the past month, and we've hit it. Like some of them, for example, yesterday we double our like target. It's crazy, so thank you very much for all of the support from everyone hitting the thumbs up. I don't really have a target for videos like this. I just hope that people can see it and understand the information that I'm trying to get out there. Also, to the people that have subscribed recently, like we've got quite a few new faces joining the channel, welcome to our little community. Hopefully you do enjoy what you see here every single day with our daily streams. So, what is today about? Basically, I've got a couple of things that I would like to explain uh, about the channel and what's going to be going on in the next couple of months up until the release of FIFA 18. And also, I've got a couple of questions that maybe you guys can help and answer in the comments down below. So first things first, I'm going to open this up. Hopefully you can watch this entire video before doing this, but if I don't go over something and you would like to ask a question about something that I haven't covered, then you can also put that in the comments and I will do my best to respond to every single thing that is put there and answer any queries that you may have, okay? So, let's get into it. What is this channel update all about? Basically, what kind of streams and things are you going to be getting, like I say, up until the release of FIFA 18? So, since FIFA 17 released in, what was it, September last year, something like that, every single day, bar last Saturday, that I have been able to, I have streamed this game. So, that's about nine months, three quarters of a year streaming the same thing every day, other than when I've been super busy or like away on a uni trip, etc, etc. That's pretty crazy, I'm not going to lie. Over my years on YouTube, I've been insanely inconsistent with what I've streamed and uploaded and stuff like that. So I've gone from uh, I've gone from COD to FIFA to COD to FIFA to GTA to FIFA to COD, blah 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 blah, right? I've been all over the place. But this year, I've been super consistent and I've really, really enjoyed it. Like, this year, FIFA, I don't think before this year I've got close to, well... I might be wrong, but I don't think I've played over 1,000 games of Ultimate Team in a FIFA game. This year, I've played over 3K. I love the game. I absolutely love it, which is why I've been open to streaming it every single day for so long, right, since its release. It's pretty crazy. Normally, FIFA at this point in the year is dead for a lot of people. Now, it is getting to that stage. A lot of people have stopped playing the game, they're not really interested in watching the game, they only want to see a few certain things when people stream it, and so it's difficult for me to understand what I can do on FIFA that people actually want to watch. Because, for example, if I ask the people in the chat what they want to see, and they say, like, foot draft, then the next day I do a foot draft, basically nobody watches it. So I'm like, what do I need to do <laughs> right here? But I think it is just the fact that FIFA is getting towards the end of its life cycle. And obviously FIFA 18 is just, it's like two and a half to three months away. So throughout Team of the Season with Foot Champions and SBCs and all of this stuff, it's been fun. I've, I've still enjoyed playing the game and I still enjoy it, hence why I'm still streaming it. But it is getting to the stage where I feel like if I stream this game and this game only every single day, up until FIFA 18 gets released, I'm going to burn myself out and I will not be able to continue playing it because I'm just going to be done. So, the plan is to, once or twice a week, um, like today, for example, I'm going to stream other games. So, you will have seen last Saturday, I streamed Crash Bandicoot, right? My first episode of that like mini playthrough where I'm going to play through that entire game. That is the plan with that. Today, I am continuing that. And then, once I've done that, I'm going to introduce other games, maybe like Black Ops 3, maybe GTA. So this is the question that I want to ask you. If you do enjoy watching games other than FIFA, what would you like to see? Would you like to see the return of Black Ops 3? Would you like to see the return of GTA? Even potentially for Sub Sunday. Get a bunch of you guys in a lobby, play some races, just have a good time and have some fun. Because that is what the channel is all about. I know a lot of people will be here purely because they're subscribed, because they like FIFA. And okay, I, I completely understand that. It's a FIFA channel. There's logic there. It makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? But I hope you can see it from my point of view that if I continue to play this game as much as I have done, I'm going to burn myself out. So I want a breath of fresh air. Like, last Saturday's Crash stream was one of the funnest streams that I've done in months. I absolutely loved it. 
and I would be open to doing more of that, Left 4 Dead, Black Ops, all of that kind of stuff, because I know that I'm going to love playing those games, I know it's a lot of fun. Whereas FIFA can become a little bit stale, etc, etc. So, don't expect FIFA to be gone, like I say, one or two days a week is all I'm dedicating to other games. FIFA will still happen every other day. Now, what I do also plan to do going forward is more discussion-based streams. So if you watched it yesterday, maybe you did, maybe you didn't, I did a stream where I talked about the footies which are coming out on Friday, and half of the stream was talking about that, and half of it was playing the game. I really enjoyed that, because I feel with my channel, it's not fully about the gameplay. It's not like I'm a pro player and you're watching because I'm super good at the game, because I wish I was, but I'm not, so let's be honest here. So a lot of people tell me that they listen to the streams as like podcasts whilst they're playing FIFA and stuff like that. So the gameplay itself doesn't really matter what I'm playing. What I like to think of my channel and my streams of is it's just a discussion. It's talking to you guys, which some other streamers don't do, and just talking about whatever, having fun, enjoying the experience of the stream. Hopefully making your day just that little bit better, and hopefully you can interact with me, ask me loads of awesome questions, give me lots of topics to talk about, and make my day that little bit better as well. So that is what the streams are about, and like I say, it doesn't matter whether I'm playing FIFA, or Left 4 Dead, or COD, I'm still going to be the same person. So I'm still going to be having these discussions, talking to you, and just trying to relax and have a bit of fun. And at the end of the day, that is what my streams are all about. I do this for fun, that is it, so I don't want to stream something if I'm not really enjoying it. So in the future, like I say, we're bringing other games back. Today I'm doing a Crash Bandicoot stream, so I guarantee there will be people that join tonight's stream saying, why aren't you playing FIFA? And I've answered that in this video, so I will direct them to this, but again, I'm not burnt out on the game just yet, but I feel if I don't freshen things up, then I will get burnt out very, very quickly. And like I say, a breath of fresh air, a little bit of freedom, I really, really enjoy it. So that is the main reason for doing it. But going forward, I will do more discussion streams. For example, tomorrow I'm going to do another one about the end of an era premium SBCs and the marquee transfers and things like that. And then we'll play a little bit more of the game as well. I, I like that kind of concept. And going forward, I'm going to do FIFA 18 based ones as well. So we're going to do streams where we talk about things I would like in the game. Hopefully I can mock up some graphics and things like that. Uh, get some Photoshop stuff as to what I would like to see and we can have a discussion about it. I can get your guys in, um, involvement and your ideas and potentially then in the next stream where we talk about it I'll mock those up and show people what you would like. So that's the kind of plan and also doing things like FIFA 18 rating pre uh, prediction streams where we'll go through, I don't know, like the list of the top 50 players on FIFA 17. Do we think we're going to go up, down, etc. Predict those. Uh, big teams like Real Madrid, Barca, all of the Premier League teams and just have a lot of fun talking to you guys. Again, the discussion is the main part of my streams, I feel. A lot of people uh, will agree with that and it, I feel like it's why some or a percentage of the people do watch the streams is not for the gameplay at all, but for the style of the streams and how they work. So the plan is to continue doing daily streams up until FIFA 18, and then when that comes out, we'll purely go to FIFA again. Like, that is the plan. But uh, again, to mix it up a little bit with other games, etc. up until that point. So I hope that you can understand it from my point of view and why I'm doing this kind of thing. And I hope that you can accept that. Maybe if you see the, for example, today's stream is Crash Bandicoot, maybe you'll see the title of the stream and you think, oh, I'm not a fan of that. I'll wait till tomorrow because I know he's going to go back to FIFA. Like I say, I'm not going to stream random games every single day. It's going to be FIFA other than one or two days a week. And those two days won't be next to each other. So let's say it would be Tuesday and Sunday, Wednesday and Saturday, etc. So you know you'll have one day where you'll see it in your sub box or something and maybe you'll be like, ah, okay, I'll give this one a miss, but I'll come back tomorrow. He's doing the thing that I like, which is FIFA, and everything will be good. So again, I hope you can see it from my point of view. If you've got any questions that I haven't really covered or talked about in this video so far, put them in the comments. I will do my best to respond to every single question that you guys may have. I hope you can continue to enjoy the streams. Again, thank you very much for your recent support. It's crazy, and you've made this a lot of fun. Like, life is just amazing right now. So thank you for making that awesome. 
and I hope you can tune in to either, I guess, tonight's crash stream or back tomorrow for FIFA. Thank you very much for watching this and taking time out of your day to hopefully help me and respond and give me a bit of feedback. But that's going to be it from me. Goodbye.